In July of 2016, Cummins will be unveiling the 2017 version of the venerable ISX-15 engine, soon to be called simply the X-15. I'm Jim Park with today's trucking and heavy-duty trucking. I got to drive an alpha version of the 2017 engine last spring. At the same time, I drove this 2016 engine so I could compare the two. I'll show you some of the features of the 2017 X-15 in part two of this series, but first I want to show you some of the technology that's already in play and what Cummins will be building upon for 2017. Both engines had the Cummins ADEPT technology suite, which stands for Advanced Dynamic Efficient Powertrain Technology. The suite features Smart Coast and Smart Torque 2, as well as Cummins' own predictive cruise control system, but that's only available on Packard product until next year. It also had the Eaton Cummins Smart Advantage powertrain. That helps enable all these features while providing a super efficient 1150 RPM at 65 mile per hour drivetrain for optimum fuel economy. Let's look at how Predictive Cruise and Smart Coast together can really work to your advantage. We're going to be running the truck up on a couple of small hills. Uh, there aren't many hills in Indiana, so we do the best we can with what we've got to work with. And with the use of uh, Predictive Cruise, which is actually a two-mile look-ahead thanks to GPS, the engine knows the terrain in front of it. So it can manage its speed, its power, uh, torque input, fuel inputs, all that sort of stuff that will get the truck over the hill as efficiently as possible and then uh, basically slip into neutral and coast down the other side and use gravity to uh, build the speed back up that we lost climbing the hill. We're climbing a slight grade here now. We're probably, probably talking 1%, maybe 1.5%, it's not very much. But the engine's now letting us slow down a little bit as we pull up this hill. Uh, we've lost uh, about 50 or 60 RPM. We've lost two or three miles an hour. That's all in the aid of fuel consumption. It's not because the engine can't manage the hill. But you watch, just as we go over the top here, the engine's going to throttle back and let the truck roll down the hill. So there we go. We just basically lost our power. We're not producing any more torque right now. Just starting down the downhill side, and there you go. You'll see it kicked out of gear. And we're now coasting, and uh, gravity is supplying all this free energy to keep the truck moving here at 65 miles an hour. The uh, inclinometer sensor in the uh, transmission that knows where it is on the hill, so the two bits of data are kind of bouncing back and forth against one another. GPS says we're on a hill, the transmission goes, yeah, we sure are. So the engine gets the message, throttles back, throttles up, uh, depending on the situation, and uh, the whole thing says, Fuel economy is primo here. We're going to manage this as best we can. Now you saw going up that little incline, we lost a couple of miles per hour. Uh, in the grand scheme of things, that's not going to cost us anything in terms of trip time, but it's saving a little bit of fuel. And that's what's keeping this fuel mileage uh, meter here. It's actually climbing again now, just having a second look at it, 7.7 .7 again. So uh, are you going to even notice two miles per hour on that hill? I bet not. Uh, I was watching it, so I saw it happen. But again, it's, uh, it's all in the aid of, uh, of reducing fuel consumption. Sometimes this dropping out of gear thing makes drivers nervous. Here's a quick example of how well it works. I was just starting down a small grade as I was headed for the exit ramp. Now watch this. As soon as I put the brake on, it's going to come back into gear and we're going to get the, uh, the retarder. See, foot brake, engine comes back into gear. Uh, just as slick as hell in terms of... Uh, you know, me not having to worry about whether or not the uh, clutch engagement is going to happen or we're going to get back into gear. Totally automatic. Not only did it get right back into gear very smoothly, I was on the brake, so it pulled two downshifts as well just to get better performance from the engine brake. Funny thing about all this new technology, good drivers have been driving like this for ages. It's not rocket science, it's actually a very old idea. It's just that the truck designers and engineers have had a very difficult time figuring out how to make an engine do what a driver has known how to do since day one. So it just goes to show you guys have been on the leading edge of this technology for a generation or two. It's just taken the engine makers that long to figure it out.
What you just saw were what I'd call the highlights of the 2016 engine and the Smart Advantage powertrain from Eaton. What Cummins will be releasing in July is even better, and it feels better too, snappier and tighter, but still Cummins. Check out part two in this series. I'll be covering some of the highlights of the 2017 engine, and we'll have footage from the launch event as well. For Heavy Duty Trucking and Today's Trucking, I'm Jim Park at Cummins World Headquarters in Columbus, Indiana.